Hello, good afternoon, everyone. So, yeah, we will be speaking yeah, in one minute. Yeah, just uh, wait a little bit for the latecomers, and we will start the first session of uh, accounting and finance of our unit. Yeah, the finance and accounting and the budget basic yeah, concept related to marketing communication. Yeah. Yes, uh, Liu Yang, so your Chinese name is, uh, the family name is Liu, right? Yeah. Yeah, if I remember right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys, if you can hear me, you can like uh, type your answers to me, then I know, okay, you are, you are with us. <laughs> yeah. Hello, yeah, can you guys hear me? Mm, hear me clearly? I'm using the microphone, yeah. Okay, that's been... I will yeah, share the screen now. So for this afternoon, yeah, I will yeah go through the section one of our textbook. Yeah, all we call it student workbook or learner's guide. Yeah, <laughs> they are all refer to the same thing. Yeah, and now assessment two refers to yeah the assessment question. Yeah, we need to submit. Okay, let me get bigger. Um, okay, good. So for this unit, we will study and yeah, manage. Yeah, budget and the financial plans. Yeah, there are five weeks. Yeah, for this unit and uh, yeah, five you five sections. So for this morning, we have already started presentation one regarding the section one of the concept. Yeah, of marketing communication. We have yeah started the standard accrual yeah practice, which yeah I will also yeah explain again yeah for this afternoon yeah and catch accrual. Uh, accrued uh, accounting method, yeah, what are they, yeah, do you still remember? And uh, yeah, management accounting, where versus, yeah, financial accounting, yeah, if you remember, yeah. And uh, accounting, cost accounting, yeah. The overview, cost classification, concept method, and budget, yeah, classification, yeah, we explain the concept like a budget and the cost center allocation. So that is for, yeah, this morning, yeah, if you remember. So maybe uh, I just want to uh, check yeah, your understanding. So what is uh, cash accounting? What is accrual accounting? What are the differences? Uh, they are, yeah, can you answer? They are you with us? Hello everyone, can you hear me? <laughs> are you still with us? Um, Galio, are you with us? <laughs> Maybe not really. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah. Then, yeah, I will explain. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, cash accounting is about yeah. You have to receive the cash. Then you put it yeah on your like a uh, book on your ledger, and then yeah we call it cash accounting. And the difference from cash account is accrual accounting. Like you need to, yeah, put everything yeah every transaction no matter yeah you receive the cash or not. And yeah, for next week, yeah, for the last yeah few uh, concepts, I will explain yeah in um, the next few uh, like uh, pages. Yeah, so yeah, the section two next week we, we will start applying yeah financial management approaches. Yeah, which include yeah, uh, ensure the access to yeah budget and financial plans. Yeah, clarify budget and financial plans. Yeah, negotiate yeah budget and financial plans. Risk management. Yeah, when something bad happens, how can we prevent it? So it's called risk and management. If it's a crisis, then it's already happened. Yeah, so we call it crisis management. And the contingency planning, yeah. Do you have like any backup plan? Yeah, that's called contingency planning. And the section three, a plan implement yeah, financial management yeah, approaches. 
The management cycle yet budgeting and the leadership yet communication to team, identify and set accountability, budget element and human behavior, yeah, support team to achieve goals, organize resources and system. So that is for week three, yeah. And use electronic yeah, spreadsheet to manage market, yeah. All we see like Excel sheet, yeah. All many other software you can use, yeah, the spreadsheet. And uh, like four, we will start monitoring and control finance, yeah, budgetary control, yeah, uh, expenditure and varying the implement their yeah, contingency plan. <laughs> we need to implement, yeah, the contingency plan, yeah, if something happens, yeah. And the reporting requirement, yeah, government, yeah, reporting requirement. And the, uh, the last week, week five, we will start review and evaluate your yeah, financial management process. Yeah, financial management data, analyze the varieties, yeah, analyze cash flow, profit, implement the corrections and improvement. Yeah, so that's all the uh, main content yeah, for this unit. So first about the introduction of the basic concept of financial management. Yeah, this is uh, today's content. So section one, yeah, we do the concept of financial management. Like uh, you need to identify and apply yeah, management accounting yeah, principles and techniques to financial planning, yeah, standard accounting practice. Yeah, what is the standard uh, accounting practice? Do you still remember? Like I mentioned, the double entry bookkeeping, yeah, etc. About the income, yeah, sales, and the cash flow accounting, yeah, I already explained just now. Management accounting and cost accounting, yeah, management accounting is different from financial accounting. Yeah, I already explained that this morning. Uh, who knows? What are the differences between um, management accounting and financial accounting? Uh, Fun, yeah, do you remember? Fun, Fun Li. Hello, can you hear me? Do you remember, yeah, what I have explained this morning? What is uh, management accounting and uh, financial accounting? What are the differences? No? How oh, you don't have the microphone? <laughs> Management accounting about the internal, yeah, financial accounting about the external, yes. And identify yeah, types of budget, yeah, identify cost center allocation. I will explain in detail the next few yeah, the pages. Standard accounting practice. Yeah, it's already here. Please have a look. Yeah. So it's uh yeah require you to apply uh, accounting principles and techniques yeah, to produce financial management financial statement yet yeah, or make entries into a journal or ledgers. Mm. So this yeah student yeah this student workbook yeah assume some knowledge of standard accounting practice. The standard accounting practice yeah assumed by uh, our textbook yeah including the application of accounting cycle. Yeah, the use of journal of ledgers, yeah, the use of double entry bookkeeping, yeah, we have studied that yeah, this morning. And the use of uh, accounting group, yeah, I said, including yeah, receivables, inventories, yeah, liability, capital, yeah, owners, cap, uh, equity, revenue, and expense, the practice of making year and closing entries, yeah, for the preparation of a financial statement. And for the cash and accrual uh, accounting, we have already yeah, uh, explain, yeah, cash accounting yeah, only recognize recorded process of financial transaction when cash is actually yeah, received or paid. Yeah, but more accurately, we need to use accrual accounting, yeah, which recognize record and, and processes of financial transaction when the transaction actually yeah, occurred, regardless of whether yeah, it's to be paid, right, in cash. So normally we use, yeah, accrual accounting more, yeah, benefit of accrual accounting, yeah, include yeah, more accurately reporting to the profit of business for a given period, right? Yeah, because although we will pay you maybe after a few days or a few months, you will re receive it anyway. So we want yeah, to know the accurate uh, status of your company. So we need to use accrual accounting and providing a better uh, method for yeah, uh, planning expenses as well as yeah, preparing monthly and uh, yeah, yearly budget and provide the true value of the business, right? And being yeah, suited to tracking a larger volumes of transactions giving a more yeah, accurate picture of the organization's overall yeah, financial performance and the financial position. Yeah, you can read <coughs> by yourself. Mm. And management accounting is different from financial accounting. I, I already explained. Yeah, one is uh, uh, reported to the external yeah, financial accounting. While the management accounting is uh, yeah, reported to the internal yeah, users, like a custom report. 
Well, yeah, uh, external, yeah, financial accounting is like a set report. You need to report to the government agencies, investors, creditors, low founders, now trade association. Well, internal, just internal employees, directors, or CEOs, yeah, line managers, unit stock, etc. So that's the difference between management accounting and financial accounting. Yeah. Some students study yeah, finance, some students study management, some students study accounting. Now you know the differences and the relationship yeah, between them. And next, yeah, management accounting, yeah, from its planning and the control. So planning first, yeah, involve, yeah, the uh, firm's objectives and include, yeah, the detailed description, yeah, of the steps you needed to meet these objectives. So planning involves, yeah, customer report derived from, yeah, information in financial statement and activities such as cash flow, yeah, projected, like about the cash, like uh, the uh, ledger journals is about the cash flow, yeah. And the long-term project and the plans, the yeah, operational plans, yeah, the plans you will operate, yeah, how much you need to spend and how you operate, and the long-term yeah, budget and plans and yeah, financial uh, projections and set the yeah, target and the key performance indicator, yeah, KPI. We always talk about the KPI in yeah, everyday yeah, business life or yeah, in our everyday life, yeah, need to know that. Some yeah, uh, classical or typical KPIs include yeah, production, sales, yeah, income and expenditure, yeah, if you remember. And the target may be set for organizational performance as well as yeah, team performance. Yeah. So after planning, we will need to yeah, study control. Yeah. So control is about continuous assessment of actual performance against the budget or standard target. Yeah, it also involves take a corrective uh, action through yeah, the following or um, forming contingency plans to make financial plans on track. So cost accounting, yeah, overview. Cost accounting is approach to evaluate the overall cost, yeah, that associate with the conduct, yeah, business. So only talk about the cost, yeah, the accounting of that. And apart from financial statement, data can from uh, a range of sources, yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, they include yeah inventory materials, yeah finished product records, consumer yeah records like those. Yeah, you can read by yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those, yeah, accounting, yeah, the cost accounting might be affected by the unusual uh, yeah, circumstance and the any yeah, variance like this might be uh, carefully accounted for. Like uh, this is the model, you can have look planning process and after that the production and manufacture and after that selling and the So for the principle of cost accounting, include, yeah, the practice of cost accounting yeah, the practice of uh, accounting for cost rather than outlays. So cost versus outlay, yeah, which means yeah, expense. Yeah. And as yeah, discussed previously, the method of accrual accounting helps to provide details necessary yeah, for operational budgeting. Yeah. For example, accrual accounting, yeah, do you still remember accrual accounting, like the uh, transaction of every yeah, time? Accrual of the accounting, yeah. accrual accounting records of uh, uh, the value of raw materials purchased for future production as an asset, not merely as an outlay of cash, as would be the uh, case using a purely yeah, cash accounting method. So each unit yeah, produced then would be seen to incur cost with regard to the value of the raw material yeah, needed held yeah, by the business. And some other principles include yeah, cost uh, accounting for hidden costs and the externalities. Yeah. And the accounting for yeah, direct overheads, I would say indirect yeah, cost. And the cost, uh, like accounting for past and the future outlay, yeah, future expense. And accounting for cost uh, according to the life cycle of product. Yeah, the life cycle, yeah, from the beginning, you only sell a little bit and then it become mature like a people and then you sell more and then goes down. Yeah, the life cycle of a product. Mm. From the uh, beginning to the material to the end, yeah. <laughs> And the uh, uh, cost accounting, uh, cost uh, uh, classifications, um, there are uh, many ways yeah, to categorize the cost. Yeah. It may be yeah, classified and recorded on a cost sheet. So first we will explain two main uh, costs. The first one is a fixed cost, yeah, which means yeah, the cost you need to spend to maintain your business or product sales, but which not change in line with the yeah, changes in your sales volume or business activity, for example, rent. 
like this one. This is the volume of your product. No matter how many yeah, product you produce, yeah, you only need to pay the same rent every month, right? So maybe $200 or oh, yeah, 200,000, yeah, like that. And the fixed cost per unit, like if you produce more in the same room and then yeah, every uh, cost, yeah, fixed cost per unit will be decreased, right? Yeah, so it will be like this. And the variable cost, yeah, are those costs that do vary, you know, and this, and you are the indirect proportion of a change in sales volume or business activity. So like uh, the buying of a manufacturer of the goods, yeah, that are sold, like your raw material uh, um, uh, unit yeah, is the same, like uh, um, your packaging, yeah, for every uh, package, yeah, you pay the same thing, right? So variable cost per unit is the same. Well, cost, yeah, total variable cost, yeah, it will increase. Yeah, because if you produce more, you will spend more on one product, on all the product, yeah, on all the packaging of the product. Like you package more, yeah, when you mm, sell more, right? So it's this, um, it's this, yeah, a tip, uh, graph, and we also have the semi variable cost, yeah, which are the cost, yeah, a blend of the two, yeah, for example, electricity, yeah, to run the machine. Yeah, that makes the product is included on the same bill for electricity that yeah, less office. Whether there's also a yeah, production happening or not, yeah. So staffing is also another yeah, area that could break up the cost between both concepts. Yeah, because often yeah, staffing costs may increase during a busy period if management makes a decision to employ some casual yeah, staff. And then we can also yeah, categorize the cost into direct cost and indirect cost. Indirect cost sometimes we often call it overhead. Yeah, please remember overhead is another term of indirect cost. Overhead are the yeah, cost incurred, yeah, um, by the firm, yeah, but which cannot be attributed directly, yeah, to a unit of production. For example, rent, I already mentioned. So rent is indirect cost, but also fixed cost. And the direct costs are those, yeah, costs incurred by a firm, which can be directly attributed to a unit of production. One example is raw material, yeah, result of final, uh, product yeah, would not exist, right? So uh, raw material is direct cost is also the variable cost. Yeah, that is the relationship between yeah those different categories of cost. And the cost accounting concept or method. First, uh, we need to introduce some basic yeah um, cost. Manufacturer cost concept first. Yeah, prime cost. Prime cost is composed of a direct material cost and direct labor cost. Yeah, just remember her. That's fine. Uh, those are called yeah, prime cost. Yeah, just remember. And product cost, yeah, it's composed of prime cost and indirect cost. For example, direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead, obviously, factory indirect cost. And conversion cost, yeah, the conversion cost, the cost required to convert, yeah, product from raw material to a product is composed of indirect cost and direct labor cost. So, factory overhead or factory indirect cost. And yeah, labor, yeah, direct labor. So that is the definition for conversion cost. Yeah, just remember. And there is a question. Yeah, we are uh, like see all we already yeah, started that on um, Tuesday. Like, what is the prime cost here? Yeah, do you know? You can use the formula here. Yeah, prime cost is direct materials and direct labor. So that would be 70,000, right? And what is the production cost? Yes, yeah, so then you go to this formula. Production cost is a direct, yeah. Materials, yeah, 50,000 to direct labor, 20,000 and yeah, factory overhead, 10,000. So production cost is all of them, 170,000. And what is the conversion cost? Yeah, who can tell me? Just the use. The formula we have studied before, what is the number? It's 12,000. Yes. Uh, no, it's 120,000. Oh, 120, <laughs> yeah. You just forget one zero here. Yes, correct. Yeah. And next, yeah, marginal cost model. Yes, good job. Yeah, and yeah, marginal costing, also known as the costing volume profit. That 
it is also called a CVP costing, yeah, marginal, like your benefit or your cost of uh, volume uh, profit. Mm. It involves the analysis of the relationship between yeah, the production cost, yeah, sales volume, and the profit. So using yeah, CVP analysis, you can calculate the break-even point, break-even point. Yeah, do you still remember what does break-even mean? Means the profit is zero, you didn't earn anything. So yeah, profit even. And the volume of sales required to earn a particular profit. Consider the following formula here. Sales, variable cost, sales, yeah, equals to or variable cost, fixed cost, and the profit. Yeah, all we use a formula yeah, to represent it. Yeah, this one. Price. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can have a look. Yeah, price uh, times the number of the unit, like which is the sales, right? Yeah. Equal to yeah, variable cost per unit or unit cost. And then how many is the number? And then plus fixed cost and then plus your profit. So that is the sales, like how much you sell, how much you sell. So your cost and the profit is the sales. Mm. Okay. And the important concept of CVP, yeah, cost is unit yeah, contribution margin. So what is unit yeah, con contribution margin? It's price per unit, deduct, yeah, variable cost, yeah, per unit. So that is called, yeah, unit contribution margin. Yeah, just remember it, yeah. And there is a formula yeah, of that, yeah, same thing. Yeah, contribution margin ratio is price per unit. Yeah, deduct, yeah, variable cost per unit and divide, yeah, price per unit. Yeah, uh, you just remember it, it's fine. <laughs> yes. And yeah, total, yeah, uh, using total figures, yeah, contribution yeah, mar uh, margin ratio is the sales, yeah, deduct total variable cost and divide, yeah, sales. Yeah, that is called the contribution margin. Uh, ratio. So they are, yeah, they're the same. And the break even, I already explained, right? Suppose you want to calculate the number of sales required to reach break even, like you didn't earn any, like you, you are not um, like in debt, but you also didn't earn anything, like it's even, it's equal. So yeah, required to reach break even, yeah, which means like maybe you are a new company, yeah, I don't want you kind of, um, like uh, you, you, you lost uh, some of your cost, yeah. So in this case, profit would equal zero. So you didn't earn any profit, but they also don't want to kind of indict, yeah, or something like that. So we call it break even. So sometimes break even is already kind of a good situation, <laughs> yeah, for some new company. And this is the uh, yeah, formula yeah, for break even, yeah, you can have a look. For example, let, let me maybe yeah, show you like this one, yeah, break even sales in dollars. Break even sales in dollars is yeah, here at C fixed cost, yeah. Divide, yeah, CM ratio, like a unit contribution margin. And the unit contribution margin, yeah, it's um here, yeah. The price per unit, yeah, deduct variable cost uh, per unit. So that is, yeah, your cost, the formula. Yeah, you just remember, yeah, that's fine. And then, yeah, go to next. Yeah, it gave you some examples. Yeah, you can have a look to, yeah, digest those concepts. And the activity-based costing model, yeah, identifies production cost, yeah, based on all the activities required to produce a product or service. So this model considers many so-called overhead, like an indirect cost, as direct cost of production. Yeah, so it's about the activity-based costing model. So in order to gain a more rounded view of direct cost of strategic planning, yeah, ABC obviously activity-based costing, yeah, may be used in addition to margin, yeah, marginal uh, costing within the same company. Yeah, and it gives you an example. Yeah, you can. Uh, have a look. 
Yeah, the first paragraph. Mm. Yeah, like this is mentioned, a portion of the training cost yeah, might be considered direct cost of producing those to require quality activities such as after sale customer service may be also considered as part of the production cost. So a possible advantage of this model is that it encourages a more holistic view of direct cost and considers all the activities of a business as contributing yeah, to the production. So it kind of consider the overhead, the indirect cost and the direct cost, because we only talk about the model related to activity-based cost. And yeah, some other yeah, uh, costing include like job costing. Yeah, it's conducted yeah, within a activity-based uh, cost model yeah, for attributing an overhead cost. It's a pro uh, process of tracking yeah, expense include in a, yeah, individual job or since the revenue yeah, produced by that those job which is useful in any situation in which a unit of production or batch is considered separately to other jobs and the revenue is weighed against their production cost. Yeah, it gives you uh, an example. Yeah, you can have a look at that. And for the budget classifications, yeah, we have started this morning. There are three categories. Yeah, financial budget, operational budget, and the time frame budget. Yeah, short term, long term. Meter, yeah, medium term. So financial budget, which about the financial status of the organization, which may include cash flow budget, yeah, is the uh, debtor budget and the profit budget. Yeah, so financial budget, yeah, if you remember, it's about the external, right? You write those financial yeah, budget to the externals, like uh, the government organization, like the, your shareholders, yeah, the annual, for your yeah, annual report, etc. So they are like this financial report. So if you study finance, yeah, you might always, yeah, you write that, yeah, financial budget. But even if internal, sometimes you also yeah, have some elements of it as well. So they are kind of overlapped with each other. So this is one example, please have a look. This is a cash flow budget. Yeah. From the sales and customer accounts and the cash of in relation to the payment. Like, yeah, like this one, cash flow, yeah. Collected from the debtors, yeah, how much? Uh, collections from the cash sales, interest received, payment to creditors, and cash flow, yeah, from the investing activities, yeah, those, they are all kind of called, yeah, cash flow budget. Mm, it's a part of financial budget. And age the debtors budget, it's about uh, different year, yeah, every year or every quarter, yeah, age is about time, right? Mm, to predict the level and the age of that they are likely to have in the future to exist with their cash flow management yeah, because sometimes like the, because the interest yeah, might be the same or it fixed or yeah you can predict that like that and the profit budget yeah there's another example what is your profit budget you can minus the profit and the operational budget, uh, they are all like a prediction. They are not the truth. They are like you predict, you guess in the future, yeah, you will have yeah, this budget, yeah, what you want to spend, yeah. And operational budget are prepared in support of organization's revenue target. And they may include their sales budget, production budget, raw material budget, and the labor usage budget. So it's about the operation, yeah, that you produce. And sales budget are usually yeah, expressed in units, yeah, as selling price, for example. If product A is expected to sell, you have 100 units at $15, then the sales is expected to be how much? Yeah, 1,500. So that is the sales budget. Yeah, it's yeah, very uh, easy formula. Yeah, that's the time of the. Yeah, there is an example again as well. You just use the sales volume and then you times the, yeah, the uh, selling price per unit and then you get the sales, yeah, revenue. And the production budget, I use it yeah, to identify the production requirement over a period of time. To identify, they identify the level of production yeah, required to meet the organization's sales objective. Okay, product. 
production budget is like this, that's my roof. How many units? Mm. Required ending, finish food inventory, finish food required. Yeah, let's begin finish food inventory. And you could require the uh, production, yeah. You just make a budget, uh, you, you just make it up, kind of like that. And the raw material budget, yeah, there's another example. Yeah, show the estimated cost of raw material required to satisfy the expected yeah, production level arrived, arrived as um, in the production budget for period of time. For example, like a 100, yeah, time, yeah, 1.5 kilogram, yeah. Raw material required per unit, yeah. Is yeah, 150 yeah, kilogram. And 100 kilo, uh, 50 kilogram, yeah, uh, time $2, yeah, cost, yeah, per kilogram of raw material. So that is your raw material budget. So how much material do you need? And uh, uh, how much is the price per, yeah, product, yeah, of uh, your raw uh, material? Then you get, yeah, you get the number of uh, the raw material budget. It's also yeah, very easy and similarly yet yeah, labor usage. Yeah, the direct labor budget yeah, shows the production labor requirement of business over a period of time. Yeah. Similarly, the example yeah, is like this, for example. 200, yeah, like a unit of budget production per like a uh, time, yeah, two yeah, labor hours per unit. And how many yeah um labor hour cost, like maybe twenty dollars yeah per hour, and then you get your labor usage budget, right? There's another example. And the time frame budget yeah, from short term, yeah, which is yeah, the short term from one week to a year, yeah, the ma uh, manage yeah, expectations in relation to the current business operations. And the intermediate yeah, budget, obviously, media budget. It's about yeah, one to three years. So require the clients involved in entry to new market. And long term budget, yeah, there are strategies, strategic yeah, budget. Yeah, strategic budget by senior management as a vision for the position. The term is yeah, aiming for the next three to 10 years. So that is strategic, yeah, long-term budget. So next, yeah, there's a graph yeah, to show you long-term, short-term, intermediate, and long-term budget. And the cost center allocation. Yeah, this is called the cost center allocation. So budget a specific yeah, forecast of, of anticipated yeah, result of a business for a specific period, right? Yeah, we all know that you need to have a budget for when you buy anything, yeah. Or when you produce anything, yeah, for your company, for business, for, for your staff, yeah. But because sometimes we have a master budget, right? Yeah, we need to break up those past the budget into cost centers. Yeah, depend, yeah. And yeah. You need to determine yeah, the following, which are the basis of a cost center split, like by location or by function, like this one. Yeah. Central, North, or South Australia. So yeah, you need to first yeah, have a master budget. Like how much yeah, do you have yeah, for your budget? Yeah, the general uh, answer of that. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Because yeah, we want to make it clear, yeah, to prevent yeah, to generalize yeah, of the budget. So we use the cost center budgeting. Yeah. Like this, yeah, like this example. So master budget had sales of one million here. Yeah, produced from yeah, three different sales team. Yeah. This one, yeah, north, south, yeah, have a certain part of it, right? And the telephone budget of one hundred ten thousand can be allocated per as the table yeah, show demonstrates. Yeah, because they have more sales, so we give them more telephone. Yeah. If you are the manager, right? So it's the master budget, and then you divide them by cost centers, yeah, by different uh, um like uh, factors. Yeah. One can be location like this one, and can be yeah, divided by the name and the number of the cost centers, all the metrics, yeah, for each cost center, like customer number, yeah. Production number, yeah, sales amount, yeah, sales unit. All it can be, yeah, determined by the basis for allocating overhead. Yeah, overhead, do you still remember what that means? Yeah, who can tell me? What is overhead? Yeah, I already mentioned a few times.
indirect cost. Yeah, overhead has means indirect cost. <laughs> like per client, yeah, per users, yeah, uh, equally between the cost centers. And then you have a cost center and like this. Yeah, this is called cost center budget, mm, our cost centers. Okay, now we already started the section one. Yeah, now we can begin to read section two and uh, we will start it next week. So next week in the morning we will start a yeah uh, the slide of section two and in the afternoon I might have you to go through yeah, the uh, textbook again as well yeah so now have you finished uh, the per per uh, per yeah assessment yeah uh, if no please yeah finish those first and then yeah submit it online by yourself yeah onto our website yeah here and I also post the yeah that deadline already yeah in here you can have a look mm. now yeah if you don't have any question i will just um put the slide here and if you have any question you can ask me yeah just a minute let me show a certain slide Yes, for some students, if you just join us, yeah, we already finished. Yeah, the session for this morning, and we also finished yeah, the session for this afternoon, like the lecture part. So now you need to do the assignment by yourself. Yeah, follow the slide. I already put it here. And then, yeah, do your assignment. And now I will only share the small screen. Okay, any questions? If no, I will mute myself. You just study it yeah, by yourself. Yeah, and when you have any question, just, uh, yeah, type it, yeah, via chat and tell me. So now I will just put the slide here and mute myself. Okay. So it's fine. Okay. So I will mute myself and um, yeah, I might see you soon. Yeah.